and most of these recipes are going to be candida friendly. These are some things that I would have like when I was going through a candida cleanse. But also right now I'm healing my leaky gut and I'm working with a nutritionist. So these are things that she either recommended me having and like having more of. So these are things that I'm eating kind of on a weekly basis. I just wanted to share this with you in case you're also trying to like heal your gut and eat healthy and just have more like nourishing diversity in your diet. So can you see Millie? So starting off with breakfast, I'm having eggs, I'm having kale, kimchi, grape tomatoes, hemp seeds, and then everything but the bagel seasoning. I also added some parsley on top. I don't know why, I hate cilantro, but I love parsley. Is anyone else like that? Like cilantro to me tastes like so. And I've really tried to add in more dark leafy greens like kale. I've been adding in kimchi and other fermented foods like sauerkraut, kombucha, things like that. So you'll probably see more of that today, but I am starving, so I'm gonna eat some of this. And if I had avocado, I would add avocado in this as well, but I added the hemp parts for a little bit of like healthy fats. So good. Also, I didn't record this, but I did do an apple cider vinegar shot, which is something that I've been doing on this leaky gut protocol. I either do an apple cider vinegar shot or I do like lemon juice and warm water. And this helps kind of balance the acid levels in the stomach. And I do this like first thing on an empty stomach. And honestly, the apple cider vinegar is like, it makes me not feel great, I guess, not feel my best, but I know that it helps and you know, sometimes if I don't wanna do the apple cider vinegar shot, I'll do the lemon. But I didn't know if you wanted me to record that, but I did do that as well. All right, I'm gonna finish this and then I'll check back in the next time I eat something. I am gonna have some pecans as a snack and I'm actually limiting these to about once a week or once every other week because pecans can have high amounts of mold. So it is a nut that I'm trying to minimize, but I'm not avoiding it completely. And I just needed a snack and just had a few of these left, so I'm gonna finish them. Hello, what's up? It's lunchtime and I had like no food in my fridge, so I went to Trader Joe's, so we're gonna do a little Trader Joe's haul. So I picked up a few things and I wanted to show you guys. We have some chicken thighs, which I love chicken thighs. I think it's the best part of the whole chicken. Organic ground turkey, Synergy kombucha, and I got this one, which is a trilogy, I think. Yeah, trilogy. I got this one, which is the multi-green, and this has kombucha, black tea, green tea, kiwi juice, Klamath Valley blue, green algae, spirulina, chlorella. That's how it's spelled. Chlorella. Chlorella. All right. Chlorella. All right, we get it, we get it, we get it, chlorella. Chlorella and 100% pure love. Oh, are you whining? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I didn't give you enough love today. Anyways, this is a very chaotic haul. Arugula, love arugula. I got a cucumber. Oven roasted turkey breast. This is probably what I'm gonna have for lunch because it's just really easy. Got some avocados, cause I was out. Delicata squash, which I'm probably gonna make for lunch as well. Wild sockeye smoked salmon. It's very good for breakfast or to top on salad. This is the best salsa you can get at Trader Joe's. So, so, so good. I'm really trying to drink and like cook with more bone broth. This is made from free range chickens. I usually get a bone broth from this guy at my local farmer's market, but I ran out. I literally ran out yesterday. So I know that Kettle and Fire has some, I think it's called Kettle and Fire. Oh my God. I know that Kettle and Fire has a lot of good range and I think they're actually coming out with a range that's made from like pure organic bones. They don't sell that brand at Trader Joe's, so this is the best one I could find. Red onion, and the best salad dressing ever. Green goddess dressing, so good. Avocado, green onions, lemon juice, chives, basil, and garlic, the best. And that's all I got, that was just a little haul. All of it was about $58, so it's not too bad. This will last me a couple days. Yeah, I'm starving, so I'm gonna go ahead and cook my lunch.
am literally starving, so quick rundown of everything. I have lots of different microgreens that I get from Whole Foods and the company is called City Roots. While I was going through like a candida cleanse and like trying to heal my gut and I'm still trying to heal my gut, I do incorporate lots and lots of microgreens. I usually have a big salad like this. Wait, 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 wait. We're not playing with that right now. We're not playing with that right now. I usually have a big salad filled with microgreens or like spinach and arugula just to get a lot of greens at once. And I usually try to do that around lunchtime so I can have like the full day to digest it. So anyways, I have my salad base. I have that oven roasted turkey that I just sliced up, grape tomatoes. Then I have the green goddess dressing, hemp hearts, fermented sauerkraut, which is cabbage and beets. And then I have the delicata squash. I just put it in the air fryer for 15 minutes and it's perfect. This is exactly how I like it. What I'm really trying to do in my gut health journey is just get a lot of diversity on the plate, get kind of all the colors of the rainbow, just eat whole nourishing foods. I am going to eat this and I'll see you the next time I eat something. When we are eating out, which can be hard sometimes, I go to this place called Farm Burger and they have really good quality meat and produce. So I got the chicken burger with a lettuce wrap, red onion and tomato, and a side of sweet potato fries. And we were just eating in the car, having a good conversation because we were about to go shopping. One of the biggest mistakes I made when I was going through my candida cleanse and gut healing journey is I would cut out sweet potatoes because I thought they were too high in carbs, but it is important to still have those things when you're going through the cleanse or trying to heal your gut. You want to have those good carbohydrates. 